Hi everyone, I just received the Amazon Fire Tablet and I'm going to go step by step through the installation process, the setup, and I will install a Zoom app so that you could start uh, video conferencing right away. So the first thing I want to show you, this is all in black so I can't really show you very well on the tablet, but they did send a nice little image with that shows the top of the tablet has a power on switch, a USB connection, a 3.5 microphone jack, and a volume switch that you can toggle back and forth. And on the front of the device is a camera so that you can actually use it for video conferencing. So let's get started. I'm going to press the power button on the upper right hand side of the tablet and I have to hold that down until you see the Amazon logo. It takes a minute or two for it to power up. There's the fire logo and we get our first image that says pick a language I'm going to pick English, right up there. I have to pick, I'm going to pick the middle fonts size, like that, and I'm going to click Continue. Now it says connect to Wi-Fi. All right, I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi, and I'm going to set this up a little bit so I put my password in here. Two important things to note here. You're going to have to have a Wi-Fi account in order to get online to use Zoom. Next, you're going to have to have an email account. You have to register with Amazon to use this tablet so you will need an email account to get online and use Zoom. Uh, you can get an email account by going to google.com. They're free, but you will have to have one. I'm going to set that in, up right now and then start this again. Okay, after registering uh, with Amazon, you'll come up with this window. It asks you if you want to enable local services at, and other things, autosave to uh, Amazon. You don't have to do any of that now, and I suggest you start using the tablet first before you decide if you want to give Amazon any of that information. So I'm going to go on. Now we have a, uh, a little video. The video is talks just about the features in the tablet, but it doesn't really talk about how to get to the features. So we're going to skip the video and go on to the next page, make this a kids friendly. I'm going to say not now. You can decide on your own. We'll continue. Start a 30 day audible free trial. This video is going to be about how to use Zoom. So you can do all this stuff later. I'm going to skip that. I'm going to skip the Kindle Unlimited. You may want to use that, but I'm not going to put it in this video. Alexa is on your tablet. You can use your voice to open apps. We're going to skip Alexa here. Okay, the first thing we have to do to download the Zoom app is to change the settings for apps from unknown sources. And to do that, we should be able to scroll down from the top and up at the very top there's a little icon gear icon click on that and it opens up the settings and then in settings you want to go down to security and privacy click on that and then look for apps from unknown sources and you want to allow the installation of apps from unknown sources. So you have to 
click on that to open it up. It'll warn you that that could be dangerous, but we're going to do it anyway. And then we want to go back to the home page. Now we're going to want to click on the Silk Browser. That should be the second one in. It's, uh, it's the one with the stylized S. Click on that. And here we want to search for Zoom. So I'm going to, whoop, I'm going to make a mistake right off the bat. I'm going to type in Z O O M. And it gives you a number of choices. And we'll go for the Zoom app. Under the Zoom app, it allows you to go to the website. So we'll click on that. And then up at the very top, it says Zoom Cloud Meetings and View. So we'll want to click on the View. And it shows us different ways to download Zoom. We don't have the Google Play Store in the Amazon tablet, so we're going to want to click on Download from Zoom. That's the Zoom Client Meetings, Download from Zoom. And down at the bottom it says, do you want to download the Zoom APK? And we do. Click on that. And down at the very bottom, you can see that there's a little line saying we're downloading. It takes 93 point something. So we're downloaded then, and we'll want to click on Open. And it says up here, do you want to install this application? It does not require any special access. And we'll go down to the lower right-hand corner and click install and the application is installed now we can go down to the lower right hand corner and click open we can either sign up or sign in or join a meeting i'm going to sign in because i've already got an account here if you don't have an account you would want to sign up first no matter how you sign in or up, you'll have to put in your email address and your password, or if you have a Google account or a Facebook account, you can sign in using one of those two sources and use their password, which is a much better way to go. If you're going to get email from Google, Gmail, then that's the way to do it. Then you then you only have one password to worry about. So I'm going to click Google, and we're in. Now, if you want to start a new meeting, you would go up to the new meeting icon and click start a meeting. And here I am. There's controls down at the bottom and some controls up at the top. And we'll save this for the next video. So for right now, I'm going to just touch the end button up here and end the meeting. Now we can go back out to the main page there. If you want to find out where the zoom icon is, you just go down to the bottom of all of the apps and there it is. You can start it all over again. Hopefully that was helpful. We'll, uh, we'll talk about the controls to use in the meeting window in the next video.